Welcome to Make Something with me, David Petruda, and today I think we're going to make an office desktop organizer thing. I have no idea because I don't know where this is going to end up, and I need your help. Check. Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. So last week we made that printer stand out of walnut plywood and then for the drawer faces we use solid walnut from KenCraft and I grossly miscalculated how much walnut I needed and I got way too much. And then I also have this piece of walnut just sitting around. I don't even remember which project this is from but this all came from KenCraft and it's all taking up space and I need that space. So we got to use up this walnut. And instead of burning this or feeding it to the dogs, I thought, hey, let's make a cool little desktop organizer and let's just wing it today. Let's just see what happens. I'm gonna start with some drawers and then just go from there. First thing I wanna do is make the drawers and just kind of work around that. I don't even I don't even know what size. I'm just maybe maybe this big i don't even know what that is so we're going to start off with the drawers and resaw over on the bandsaw some thinner material i don't want to ruin these pieces ruin i don't want to cut these pieces just yet i'm going to stick with this this has been around for a long time and it's got nice straight grain so it should resaw pretty nice and it's real clean it's going to give us some nice drawers so i'm going to take this over to the bandsaw and cut some pieces So now that I have all of the pieces cut, I'm going to make box joints here at the table saw. I am not going to go into any detail because I have a full video on how to do this and how to make this jig. That video is only six minutes long and it goes over everything you need to know about making box joints. We got all the box joints cut. I did go ahead and cut a groove for the bottom and then resawed some more walnut to fit into that groove. And then I drilled a little hole here in the front as a little finger pull. So now it's time to glue this all together. This doesn't take much glue because I got a nice tight fit. So just enough to hold it together. Sometimes you don't even need clamps. Sometimes you do. Sometimes, Sometimes you, you feel, feel like, like a nut. nut. Sometimes you don't. Wipe off that excess so it's easier to sand a little bit. Cut the fingers just a little bit too big so they stick out. And then I can sand them flush once these are dry. There we go. That's that part. Now we need to figure out the case that's going to go in. I don't have any of this planned out. So now I'm just going to think a little bit and figure out what I want to do here. I have what I think is a really good idea on how to finish this project off. But before I get into that, I would like to tell you about today's sponsor and that is Squarespace. My website is the heart of my business and is very important to me. And even before this whole YouTube woodworking thing happened, when I was just doing this as a hobby, my website was important. We all know that this is or can be a very expensive hobby and to 
offset some of those costs, maybe you want to sell some of your work or at least get your name out there so people will hire you. And that's where a good website comes in. I've been using Squarespace long before they were even a sponsor. I was using Squarespace when I was a developer working at an ad agency. Why did I choose Squarespace? Because it was, it was just an easy way for me to sell things and get my name out there without developing a website from the ground up with all that code. Squarespace takes care of all of that for you. They have beautiful templates to start with. You can customize them as much as you want. And of course, if you're a professional or a hobbyist, you have social media where you're trying to get your name out there. And Squarespace is a great place to bring all of those things into one home. You can bring in those feeds with ease. And as so as you update your Instagram, your Squarespace sites updates. If you're watching these videos, you probably like making things with your hands and you're not a web developer. So focus on the things that you're good at and let Squarespace take care of that website for you. Go to squarespace.com to sign up and when you're ready to launch, visit squarespace.com slash make something for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you Squarespace for making these videos possible. Now let me tell you about this idea that I have. Here's where we're at. I completed all six boxes and then I had this idea in my head for a case that holds them all that would sit next to my desk. And so I started drawing that up in Fusion 360 just so I would know where the rabbits and dados go to make the work a lot easier for myself. And I thought maybe the top of this case could be like if I put little rails on the side and the back, it could hold like file papers or whatever. And then I even bought brass rod to go into the middle there to create these like little dividers and maybe I could put mail in there. I don't know, just some things that I was thinking about. And I'm drawing this up and I'm like, I'm not, I'm not feeling this. Like this will complete it. It'll look nice when it's done, but where can I take this? And I thought, let's stop the project right now and then let you guys help me design the next part of this. I think this is going to be really freaking cool. So down in the comments of this video, let me know what you think should, what, what, what we should do with these guys. How would they fit into a case? What would that case look like? And it could use the walnut that we already have. It could use any material. I can go get more material or whatever. So I want to use the comments as a discussion for the next part of this project and make this a community thing where we maybe we all design this and if it comes out really cool, we'll release free plans for everybody else to try to make this as well. So if you have any ideas, leave them down in the comments of this YouTube page. That's where this discussion is gonna take place. Don't email me, don't tweet at me or Instagram me or direct message me, use the comments. I want this to be a public discussion. Now, YouTube doesn't allow photos. So if you sketch something up either by hand or on the computer, post those to your Twitter and Instagram and then link to them in the comments of the YouTube page. My YouTube is set up right now. So anytime somebody leaves a link in my comments, YouTube marks that as spam. I will go in and physically unspam all of those to make sure everybody can see everybody else's comments. This could be really freaking cool because I don't know where this is gonna go. Somebody might come up with a complete solution and maybe we go with that. Maybe I pick and choose from this person or this person or this person, or maybe somebody mentioned something, but it triggers a completely different thought in my head. So I have no idea where this is gonna go. Maybe, maybe we'll combine everything. I don't know, I don't know. I just really think this could be a potential awesome project and if this works out we could do this more in the future where we design projects together. I think the challenging thing is me trying to interpret what people are typing and what they see and maybe I have to take that and visualize that myself or maybe um, maybe it's really complex and maybe it's going to be really difficult. Maybe that's the challenge or maybe it's going to be super simple. A lot of times the best solutions in design are the most simple ones. Leave your thoughts down below, go and read other people's thoughts and comment on there, create a discussion. Eat, let, let the comments be a thread and bounce ideas off of each other and be nice. Uh, you don't, if you don't like somebody else's thoughts or designs, you don't need to tell them you don't like it. Just be nice. That's, that's, we're, we're, we're all friends, you and I and everybody that watches these videos, we're all on the same team here. 
This is probably not going to be the very next video because I got a couple things in the works, but I would like to continue this project in a couple weeks. Once I had this idea of like, let's let the community finish this project, I got really excited because this could be a potential new direction of the channel. Who knows? You never know where anything's gonna go. Life is crazy right now. We don't know what it's gonna be like two months from now. So let's, let's have fun. Let's do this together. I went ahead and I already sanded and oiled these. So let's consider these guys completely done and let's work around the limitations. I will have links to photos of the dimensions of these drawers, but you know, you can, you can sketch or just verbally spew your ideas, but I will have some photos and dimensions of these drawers. And uh, I don't want to make any more drawers. So let's stick with six. Or if you have an idea where maybe we only need two or three, that's, that's a potential. It's open to interpretation. And then I have to interpret what you come up with. So this could be really cool. Have I mentioned that I'm really excited about this idea? So, um, yeah, uh, let this fusion 360 design influence you or not influence you. It could go in a completely different direction. So let's have fun and, uh, we'll see you in a couple weeks and, um, Ah, I'm really excited. I'm just really genuinely excited to work something out with the community. If it comes out cool, we'll make the plans free and available to everybody. So that wraps it up. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Thank you KenCraft for supplying the walnuts in this project. You can visit them at KenCraftCompany.com. They're in Toledo, Ohio, but they do sell online. They are a family run business and good friends of mine. So we'll see you soon with a brand new project or part two of this project. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate and make something. Don't slam your computer shut. I did this the other day where I was at the table saw and I was like, blah, 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 blah. And I went like that and you're like, don't slam your computer shut. You're going to ruin the world. Take it easy, people. Take it easy. We're all friends, right? We're all on the same team.